Refueling a diesel car is a piece of cake because there's almost always a petrol station no more than a few miles away. Refueling an electric car is even easier because you can refuel it at home overnight for one tenth the cost and this is one area where electric cars have an advantage. However, long distance journeys in an electric car require some planning because there aren't enough public rapid EV chargers. That is unless you drive a Tesla and can use the fantastic Tesla supercharger network. But this video is aimed at people who have or who are thinking of buying a more affordable electric car like the Hyundai Ioniq or either of the two MG EVs. Rapid chargers add useful range in about half an hour and a long drive will mean using them at least once. New or potential UK electric car owners might not know that a long journey will go smoother if you know in advance which rapid chargers to use along the way. In this video I'll show you how to plan where to recharge on a long drive. For this I recommend you use a website and associated app called Zapmap. You'll need to watch this video on a larger screen so that you can see all the details. So let's start by going to Zapmap. Go. And here it is. And we're going to plan a route from London to Edinburgh. And it's quite a long way, so we'll probably have to charge multiple times. Let's open the desktop map. Okay, here it is. So you can see there are an awful lot of chargers on the map. There are yellow, blue and pink chargers. The yellow ones are the 3 kilowatt slow chargers. Blue ones are the 7 or 22 kilowatt fast chargers. And the pink ones are the 25 to 350 kilowatt rapid chargers. If you're doing a long journey, you'll only want to be charging on the rapids. So I've got to sign in because I need to do that to create a route. Uh, Zapmap wants to know my location, so I'm going to allow that. And so let's sign in. I'm just going to sign in with my login details. There we go. Now, while I'm keeping my Ionic indefinitely, I've told Zapmap to use an MG5 for this video because it's a popular EV that's new to the market. So I'm going to go to the route planner and Zapmap has set my range as 193 miles. I'm going to change that to 150 and you should set it to the real world motorway range of your EV. Real world range is something like 80 to 85% of the WLTP test cycle quoted by manufacturers. And I'm going to do a route from London to Edinburgh. This is quite a long journey, so we'll have plenty to work out. And I'm going to ask it initially to suggest charges. Let's just go through the more options. So what it's going to do is it's going to assume that we start the journey with the car charged to 100%. When we need to stop and charge, we don't want to be lower than around 20%. And when we do charge, we don't charge above about 80%. The suggested charges need to be within one mile of our route, ideally. And we're only interested in rapid charges because we want to get on with the journey. You don't want to hang around. And I'm not interested in 25 kilowatt charges because they're just too slow. Let's find the route. It's given us a couple of options. Uh, let's go for the shorter one. It takes two minutes longer, but it's a few miles less. So let's go for that one. And there we go. It suggested a couple of charges already around about between Leicester and Nottingham. Let's have a look what we've got. So we'd be, we'd be at about 24% charge when we get to Donington Services M1 North. Problem is this is ecotricity, so we know it's going to be unreliable. Let's have a look. Out of service. Okay, so the CCS isn't working and that one's out of service. It's reliably unreliable. So let's instead have a look at other charges around this area, about 24%. So we're going to untick suggest charges and update route. And we can see that just a little bit further north, we've got 
Long Eaton train station issues reported with that one as well. What have we got here? Novotel, BP Pulse, and Holiday Inn Derby, BP Pulse again, 20% charge. I tend to go for this, it's 20%. If one of these isn't working, then the other one's close by. And if neither of them are working or, or they're already occupied, then we could potentially backtrack to this one, although there are issues reported. We could carry on forward. Motorway services, trowel, 14%. That's getting close. What's, what's this one here? After service. Further north. Nottingham Belfry Q Hotel, 15%. All right, so look, I, I don't think we're going to get stuck in this scenario. So I'm going to make a note that the Holiday Inn Derby, Nottingham, is the primary destination that we're going to set to our, have our first charge with the Novotel Nottingham as the secondary. So that's where we're going to head for. So I'm going to make this one. I'm going to add this one to the route. Okay. So now let's click to suggest charges again and update route. And the next charges that it's suggesting are around about York. Let's see what this one is. This is 26% charge, ecotricity, again, issues reported. We need the CCS. Okay, well that appears to be working that uh, a week ago. So, uh, what else have we got around there? An NG. And another NG. So, cluster of nuts car park uh, what else have we got around here let's untick suggest charges again and update route see what else is around here oh not a lot so if we were to head for this one and it wasn't working what have we got here back lane car park BP pulse okay what I would do is I would aim for this one the ecotricity at Weatherby services because it'll be useful to stop at the services I would if I'm traveling with somebody I'd have them check on my phone a few miles out to see whether this is working or not and I will pull in here and try and charge with this one if it's not working I would then have a look at whether this one is working or this one is working and available and probably choose one of those so what I would do is set this as my primary destination and cluster of nuts car park as a secondary, as a backup. Would I be able to get to that one? Yeah, so that's right. So I could, there's a roundabout here, so I could go to that and if it's not working, I could go on this road here. It's not too far away to this one. So I'd set Weatherby Services A1 as a primary and Cluster of Nuts Car Park as a secondary. And I could maybe walk to the, yes, it's near a Morrison's. I could walk to the Morrison's and get something to eat. Go to the, so the convenience is there if I need to. So I'm gonna set this add to route and suggest charges again, update route. So the next set of charges it suggests uh, just north of Newcastle. No motorway services, services, but there's a Morrison's Genie Point, Chapel House services, Instavolt. Instavolt are pretty reliable. And another Genie Point, BP Great North Road. Okay, so what I would do is this is the A1. So yeah, I could come off the A1 at this roundabout here go to this one and there's a Morrison's there that I could visit as well for food and a bit of a break. So I would set this one as my primary Morrison's Newcastle and because it's not very far away I would probably set the Chapel House service Instavolt as a secondary. So let's add this to the route. All right so so it's suggesting a couple more 
I'd have 39% charge when I get to Chapel Street car park here. And 28% when I get here. Grant's house, village, Mans Mansfield. So, charge place, Scotland. That looks to be okay. Let's switch to just charges off and update route. So this one's actually BP pulls out of service. Is it really out of service? Okay, this is a new one. Why is it out of service? Don't get that. When was this added? Is this a brand new one? Updated 28th of January, so about three weeks ago. Okay, so it looks like it's a new a new one and there's there's no feedback on that yet. That might be an interesting one just to see for the hell of it. So well anyway, there are plenty on the A1 as it gets up to Edinburgh. What I would probably do is that's 40%, that's too soon. 30% is too late. What's this one? That's bang on 20% charge, Osprey, but there are restrictions. Let's have a look. CCS 50 kilowatts. Information. Temporary closed due to lockdown. Oh, so this is a pub and restaurant. So usually these are in a car park, right? And so you can get to it even if even during lockdown see in this situation here what i probably do is see whether it's possible to get to it even if the pub is shut um there's a pain with the zap map you can't see the street view yeah so a little bit more tricky figuring out the 13 percent no 17% some connectors charging so this is uh, device one is charging right now got a couple of type twos and a CCS okay I would I would probably pick that station road charging hub charge place Scotland 17% when I get there and what I would do is I would I would check that in advance to make sure that it's the CCS is working and free according to Zapmap. If it's not, I would probably call in at the Pine Martin pub and restaurant see if I could charge there. And if I can't, I'd then have to, I'd have to bypass this one and go to one of these so we've got John Muir house and Aubigny sports center right this is probably a good option so I would set this as my primary and one of these as a secondary and I'd make a note of those as well so there we go, add to route. So that's it. Charging four times on the way to Scotland, to Edinburgh. And there's a summary of the, of the details on the left here. Holiday in Derby, Nottingham. Weatherby Services, Morrison's Newcastle, Station Road, Charge Place Scotland, and then the destination Edinburgh. Four stops. So you can then save that plan.
and come back to it later. But you need to make a note of the primary destinations and whichever secondary ones you decide you want to keep in reserve. And I use Waze app on my phone rather than the inbuilt sat nav. And I would put in all my primary charge point destinations into Waze in advance as a destination and also the secondaries. So that once I get there, all I have to do is say, okay, well, I'm going to the primary. If that's not available, if it's out of service or somebody's using it, uh, the secondary is going to be there in my history and I can just click that and that's straight there set as a destination and off I go. Anyway, so that's it. Quite a bit more planning than if you're driving a nice car, but necessary. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.